Um, it's exciting to see how much um, some of the nursery, nurseries have grown over the last um, eight years now. Um, we've started with a couple hundred fragments. We've grown up to thousands of fragments. We now have different methods that we use that reduces uh, maintenance, um, encourages more growth. So we have more success and with growth and survivorship. So we're kind of learning as we go. And um, it is, it's exciting to see how much the project has grown over the last few years. Seeing the final outputs, um, seeing what the effort we put into it, um, being able to take really small clippings and grow large um, mature colonies and be able to propagate them and put them back out on the reef and seeing um, new communities form around the outplanted colonies um, and then being able to expand research from that, looking at um, spawning and other uh, research avenues. I think this project's important. The staghorn and elkhorn corals are on the threatened species list. Uh, they're one of the major reef builders. Uh, they provide critical habitat for fish and other organisms. Um, and they, they still exist in low numbers, so they just, don't, they just need a, a little bit of an extra helping hand in order to increase their densities so that they can reproduce naturally. We're not trying to replant all the reefs with our nursery-grown corals. We're just trying to re replant a few reefs in high enough densities that they can do their own thing. And after a few years, the colonies that we put out should start to reproduce naturally, and it'll jumpstart the natural process of sexual reproduction on the reef again. My favorite part uh, has been the collaboration among all the, uh, the groups involved in the, in the project and, and the fact that it's, uh, it's pretty large in its geographic scale. You know, we're, we're, we have a project where we're involving numerous uh, groups, universities, NGOs, uh, agencies, state agencies, and we have nurseries from, from Broward County, the north end of the Florida Reef Track, all the way to Dry Tortugas, the south end of the Florida Reef Track, and we also have them in the USVI. So I think that really separates this particular effort from a lot of efforts in that it involves a lot of collaborators and has that large geographic scale. I think my favorite part about the project is that this is the first time that we're doing this work at um, a scale that's going to be ecologically important. And we're also getting to a point now where we have enough coral in, nurse, in the nursery that as we move forward, we can just continue to outplant and just maintain what's in the nursery. The last time I was there, there were just huge schools of fish just hanging in the trees. And that was pretty cool to see that these corals, even when they're in the nursery, are creating habitat for fish. After watching corals, especially within the genus Acropora, die for over two decades, I, uh, this is the uh, project that gives me the chance to actually do something about it, to be able to manipulate corals and the environment and try to give these resources uh, a push in the right direction. Coral reefs um, support our fisheries. It's all an ecosystem-based management thing I firmly believe in. And the coral reefs are one of the building blocks of that. Um, you know, without a healthy reef, we're not going to have healthy fisheries down here. I'm really looking forward to the time when these corals are, are much larger in size, just to see what type of fish population they have. I think it's an exciting project and I'm glad it's happening here on St. Croix. The Coral Reef Restoration Project is huge for us. In the recreational scuba diving industry, we depend on having healthy reefs and all the sea creatures that go along with it to be able to show off to the tourists. Hi, I'm Sasha Boulanger and I own South Beach Divers here in Miami Beach, Florida. Uh, we offer diving trips to our customers every day from Fort Lauderdale all the way down to Key Largo and a lot of the wreck dives here as well in Miami Beach. Uh, we really rely on the ocean and its natural beautiful reefs and also the coral reef restoration project. So I hope it has continued success. Thank you. Um, so th th we've, uh, this last three years working on this grant has been really exciting. We've been able to expand our nursery by uh, probably 20,000 corals. And now we have a nursery that's, that's really capable of some serious work. We can, we can produce 20 to 30,000 reef competent corals a year right now and the number will probably grow so it's really exciting it's exciting to see what's happening on the reef we've been putting uh, we've probably put 2,000 corals out just this year alone on the reef most of them are doing great and we've had thousands of people come through this program in the last two years I think my favorite part of the project is actually being able to do hands-on work to help with the restoration and population recovery of this threatened species. 
It's the first of its kind, especially in Florida, to help recover acropia popula populations. And I really enjoy being able to, you know, take a hands-on approach to that, see it from start to finish, take the corals, put them in the nursery, watch them grow, and then actually outplant them back onto the reefs. It's very gratifying, and um, we're doing what we can to help see this population recover.